you gotta turn the camera on, you feel me? That's how these niggas behave they self. If the camera ain't on, they be acting up. Feel me? They don't wanna give away their secrets. The reason why they don't want to give away their secrets because in other states, they have other niggas doing the same thing. See, when a nigga driving around you passing like that, that means that you're being stalked. All that stupid noise. So they don't want to give away their secret because they, they, they try to do it nationwide. These people just want to be known. You feel me? Just show them some attention. Give them some hug. They just want to be known. They want to be famous. Because they tell on the TV, they don't see too much of they self. Not gonna stand the feeling. When I turn on the TV, I don't see niggas that look like me. You know, back in the day, that's how we used to feel. But I'm pretty sure we wasn't acting that savagely. Doing anything just to be famous. What's the wage of that? You dig? Oh, they turn on the cameras just so they could behave this show. You feel me? Shout out to me. Be outside. I don't suck dick or kiss ass. Plus, I'm conceited, fam. You gotta have some pride about yourself. You know what I mean? Some of these niggas, man. It's disgusting, I hippie. It's disgusting. It is this. I was just watching a movie called Read Memory. Feel me? Of course, they took most of my ideas. <laughs> niggas be talking about, I took niggas' ideas. Nah, they took my idea, you feel me? Nah, they ain't taking my idea, but it's all, it's all on the line of my form of thinking and how our life is usually based on our memory. <clears throat> yeah, most of, not most. That's just how our mind works. Our memory is a training course to where we are now. It's like right now, I'm walking and holding the camera, all based on memory. First, I had to learn how to operate the camera or learn how to operate the phone through my memory. So every moment becomes a memory. So... I had first had to operate how to operate the phone. Now I'm using the phone. Now I'm a pro. Now I'm using it right now. And also, I first had to crawl before I walk. So now I'm walking now. You feel me? So your memory is what makes up to you now. You understand? Even the talking part, I had to get my speech together. Now I can articulate myself into where into where somebody can comprehend and understand it. And even enjoy when I speak to the point where you can become professional at it. So your memories, the graduation of your memories is where you are now. So we basically all we are is just a memory. You understand? We just a bunch of memories put together. And as life moves on, we just a memory going forward. But we are not even our memories. If we, if we think of it in our highest sense, we, we're not even our memories. Because like I said before, you had to crawl before you walk. But when you was crawling, you didn't know that you can walk. And when you was walking, you didn't know that you can run. You understand? So the places where we are right now, it's not even who we are. And whatever we try to catch up to, it's not even who we are. We are much more greater than what we think we are. So all we're doing is relearning who we are. But we can never even get there in a lifetime. Even generation pass. Before and after, we still can't get to know who we truly are. Because we constantly learning something new every day. The things that I knew 10 years ago, I know something new today. Those things are old now. You understand? So me trying to me trying to understand what it means to be me. It's impossible. I want niggas to understand what I'm trying to say because I'm trying to put it into words. I already understand it because I'm satisfied with it. But not trying to put it into words is going to be very hard. So look, the things that you knew 10 years ago to the things that you know now. Now if you take a look back at what you knew 10 years ago, 
those things are irrelevant to what you know now because you've grown you've matured hopefully for some of you so which meaning that you always playing catch up you understand so 10 years from now you're gonna know things that you didn't even know today you understand what's going on this is what is going on because you're trying to you trying to learn who you are from previous past What's happening? Okay. Anyway. You're trying to learn. You, you're trying to learn. You're trying to catch up to a version of you. You feel me? Your true self. At least what you think. Your life is laughing at itself. <laughs> this is why when you look at primates, they tend to poke jokes at each other. You know what I mean? I read a book about, I read an article. No, I read here and there. <laughs> Your boy be reading. I read here and there. But primates have been aggravating and poking jokes at each other and laughing at each other or annoying each other for thousands of years. And what I conclude from that article is just, just li life laughing at itself. Because imagine life. Not your life. Or not my life. I'm talking about life itself, something that we all share. Now think of a life that we all share as an individual. And that individual gave is gave the individual is life itself. <laughs> That's life itself. Think of life itself as an entity that has given itself to everybody else to enjoy. And we can enjoy the full of life itself because we can't be life itself. We just enjoy a part of life. That's why we got a part of life. Stay with me. And that's life. The mimicking and the joking and the kidding and the laughing and the happiness and the annoyance and everything else like that. That's just life itself telling you don't take life too serious. Because all you're doing is just mimicking who I am. I am life. I gave you life. That's why we mimic. That's why we do the things that we do. So this shit is deep. I talk deep. I can't talk regular. Because if I talk regular, it's boring. We talk regular for thousands of years. I've been like I've been here before, so I got to talk deep. That's the only way I can talk to you. My mind works like that. You feel me? That's just, it is what it is. <laughs> That's just me, my nigga. You feel me? So, uh, so the reason why we do the things that we do, and the reason why we learn the way we learn, and the reason why we have memories and everything else like that, is because we are... A spirit. I don't like using that word. We are a piece of God. We are God ourselves. We are the children. We are children of God itself. You have to understand we are children of God. We are higher than what we perceive ourselves to be. Because we can't perceive ourselves more than what the more than where we are right now. It's very hard for us to perceive ourselves outside of this body itself. And even when we perceive ourselves outside of this body, we have limitation because we have this body that's holding us down. That's like hold, that's like wearing a space suit on the moon and you want to run faster. You can't run faster in the moon, my nigga. The atmosphere, the, 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 the whole climate is not going to allow you to move the way you want to move. But yet you feel like, I can do it. And it's like, no, nigga, you're going to be bouncing. Boom, boom, boom. You're just going to be like a fat bitch. It's going to be hard for you to move. You feel me? Sorry about the B word. It's going to be like, you know, big nigga. Sorry about the N word. But you're going to be that big. You feel me? And you see them space suit niggas in, on the moon jump. They can't even play golf right. It's like, and that's what the, it feels like to be in this body sometimes. You are a spirit being in a human body. You feel me? Operating with your soul. Because your soul... It's your mind. Remember, your DNA. Your DNA is your soul. You feel me? Your, <laughs> that's why your soul is your mind. So you are a spirit being in a human body operating in your DNA, which is already printed. And who printed those things? That's why they, they, your DNA is your soul. So your soul is your mind. They're all the same thing, basically. But your spirit is different from the rest of them. You're just having a human experience. But your life, right? Your life itself 
it's an entity you feel me this is your life is a breath of god yeah when god created the human being the human being was not alive he had to breathe breath into him that's life itself you feel me so the life the the breath that god breathed into adam or life itself is an entity on its own this is why we have these behaviors of us you feel me because that's life itself life is like life is your life is not even yours my nigga relax i'm giving you this experience i'm allowing you to experience this this ain't even you don't take it too serious this is why we this is why we play we playful and we we tend to get on each other's nerves and some people take it too far Yeah, some, some take it too far, but yo, let me stay focused right now. We come back out and speak. You dig?